They're expensive, ugly, and sometimes dangerous. Cracks in concrete. From bridges to houses, the renovation of buildings in the EU costs about 6 billion euros a year. But the era of expensive renovations could soon be over. The Dutch microbiologist Hendrik Jonkers has invented a type of concrete that may spell the end of those annoying cracks and crevices, thus saving billions of euros. We think our concrete will revolutionize the way we build because we've been inspired by nature. Plants and animals have the ability to heal themselves, and now we've made it possible for concrete to do the same. The problem with conventional reinforced concrete is that stress gradually creates small cracks. Water penetrates the steel in the concrete, which starts to rust and become brittle. This often happens after 20 to 30 years. At the University of Delft, Jonkers discovered the special ingredient for his magic concrete after a long search, natural bacteria. They usually occur near volcanoes and are heat and cold resistant. Jonkers mixed them into the concrete, so the building materials come alive in the truest sense of the word. The bacteria are found in nature. They usually live in stones. The special thing about them is that they form spore. Therefore, they're well suited for our concrete because they can survive for a long time. The bacteria are in this powder. This is a mixture of the bacteria and their food, calcium lactate. The powder is mixed with water and concrete components. The organic concrete is now ready to go. This miraculous power unfolds when it's applied. When cracks start to occur, water finds its way in. The water then awakens the bacteria. They can lie dormant for 200 years in the concrete. But when they come into contact with water, they become active and eat the food. Then they secrete limestone, the main component of cement. This closes the cracks in the concrete. The before and after images make the effects clearly visible. It takes just three weeks for the diligent bacteria to seal the cracks. No matter how long the cracks are. There's no limit to the length of the cracks, which can be centimeters or meters, even kilometers long. But the width is crucial. Here we see a crack with a width of 0.2 millimeters, but we can heal cracks up to 0.8 millimeters wide. This process can also work on existing buildings. Jonkers and his team are developing a special liquid that can be applied to cracks in buildings made of conventional concrete. This liquid also contains the special bacteria. It will be launched later this year. The organic concrete will follow in 2016. This is the first building constructed using the magic concrete. The concrete layer is six centimeters thick, which is a third less than a conventional house. Jonkers inspects the cracks regularly to see that they're healing. So far, everything is working perfectly. The hidden helpers in the concrete could trigger a revolution and bring Hendrik Jonkers the coveted European Inventor Award. I'm very pleased and happy to have been nominated by the European Patent Office because it brings a lot of attention to our invention. I think in this way, we're taking a big step forward. In June, we'll be marking the 10th anniversary of the European Inventor Award in Paris. Then we'll see if Jonkers and his team are honored with the prestigious Inventor Award in the category of research. <laughs>